Hey YouTubers, that aside show what I've been up to. Uh, cleaned my shed the other day, so this is my little treat to work on this PMA that a neighbor of mine gave to me. I'm pretty excited, it's like a real PMA. Um, it's He bought another one, uh, claiming this one wasn't really going, wasn't really turning out the amps. He said it needs to really spin it at a high speed for it for it produces any amps. I'm not sure who makes this. Um, I'm, I didn't see any markings on it. But anyway, I decided I wanted to, instead of using the rectifier that originally came inside it, that rectifies it from AC to, to DC, I decided to take the rectifier out and uh, just hook three wires up and then run the wires all the way down to my battery bank and then put, put the rectifier back there and convert it back to DC. Just so with DC you got these huge wires to transfer a lot of energy and with the AC it works a little bit better. So with the help of Jeff's website, I, uh, or actually his YouTube page, it shows you how to remove the uh, rectifier. Now in this case the wires, I don't know if you can see, leading from the uh, PMA, there's one on the right for example, they're pretty short so I didn't really have a lot of space to connect things to it. So what I did is I used a, um, I had a, a garage door opener and that black piece there with the kind of silverish color connector on the right and then the kind of gold and then the one on the left, that was what the AC came in from the household was connected to and then it was grounded and so on. But I just used it as my terminal block because I didn't have anything else that was handy. So anyway, I had my cords come in. Oh, sorry about that. So the cords are coming in here. It's my screwdriver with paint on it coming in from out from out of the housing over here. So tied a knot. That be my good old strain relief, and then. I secured the all the wires on, so should work okay. Um, it's interesting though. Uh, I, I I guess you can see the rust that's inside these PMAs. Um, this one was only up for a, I don't know maybe six months, or something like that. Um, I don't know if it's going to affect it or not. Maybe someone can help explain that. So anyway. Um, so that's what I did, and then on the outside here, I used, uh, I had a miter saw that broke, and I used the strain relief, or strain, the little rubber piece right here, just to act as a bit of a, you know, doesn't pull the wires out and so on. And then I'm going to put some heat shrink, well, as you can see, there's some heat shrink tubing here, and then I'll shrink that on just so it keeps some of the water out. I think I'm going to put this PMA actually in a case. If you notice on the back, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry. There's a lot of holes in it, so I'm not surprised that water can get inside and really uh, you know, rust things up. So I think I'll end up putting it in some PVC pipe or something to uh, secure it in. But interesting thing to see is um, here's, this is this PMA, and then you look at like a normal car, kind of household one, or car alternator, excuse me, and there's quite a difference in the size. It's going to be my other project, just to see what I can do with a car alternator and some magnets and so on, but that's another rainy day project. So, here's the, uh, the magnets, they're on on the stator. I did what Jeff said, secured it in my uh, vise and pulled it out. I don't have a really high-tech uh, connector for my vise. I just got it hooked on some big chunks of wood. Anyway, that's where I'm at. So next weekend I'm going to bring it up and put it on my tower. Thanks for watching.